autonomic action here with the men so Jermaine Franklin. He's going to be facing Anthony Josh April 1st. So is it April's Fool's Day? Is it for real? This fight coming up because it's on April 1st. What's going on? No, nah, the, fight, the fight is for real. It's most definitely going to happen. So you made a statement, um, let everyone know in the, in the boxing realm that you're here and you're here to make a statement and it's your time to be at the top. Can you elaborate on that for us? Oh uh, yeah, it's been it's been a long road. You know, I've been boxing probably I've been professional since like uh, 18, 19. So it's been a long road. You know, um, a lot of uh, shortcomings, but you know, um, we just back on the right track, trying to make things work, and um, I'm finally getting my shot, so I'm gonna uh, capitalize on it. So it's perseverance and sticking to the game plan, the focus, you know, for your career, get to th this point. Yeah, yeah, just uh, being focused, being determined, uh, and not quitting. You know, you got to, uh, boxing is kind of a tough sport. You got to have a will for it. You made another statement that you're not going to leave it in the judges' hands. Elaborate on that. You know, how you, how are you going to go about taking away Anthony's uh, jab, uh, his range that he has there? Um, he kind of takes away his own range when he fights. So um, we've just been making game plans on, on – um, you know, how to get inside, how to uh, attack them in different aspects. So, you know, um, I had a fight out there last November, and uh, I felt like I didn't get the decision, even though I, I felt like I won the fight at heart. So, you know, I can't leave it up to the judges this time, so I'm going there to destroy. Yeah, that was the fight that you had with, uh, uh, with White, right? Yeah. You were talking about? Yeah, with Dylan White. Can you explain to us, like, how was that in the ring, physically, mentally, being in there with uh, Dillian? Because uh, he's notorious for being... Um, such a destructive guy in the ring. I mean, I was okay in there. Uh, I'm at home in the ring. I, this is what I love to do. I'm a, I'm a warrior. I love to fight. You know, uh, he's a man just like I am. They bleed just like I do. So I don't, I don't uh, really get nervous or think too much extra about it. I'm just made the best man win. Outside the ring, you're the gentle giant, but inside the ring, you're so you're a different beast. Yeah. Basically. You're yeah. turned up. Yeah, inside the ring, I'm a whole different person. Yeah, I, you probably wouldn't even recognize me if he was close to me. Can you, can you explain that, that feeling when you go into that mode? Um, it's a, it's a lot of adrenaline, a lot of, um, it's just like a, uh, it's a different mindset. It's like a switch, like I'm calm out here, but I'm a whole, like, the switch flips as soon as I get in the ring. It's a whole different mentality, a whole different person. I don't even talk the same. I might cuss you out. I might, it, it just depends on which demand you get that night. When you're in that frame of mind, we can't take it personally then. No. No, nah, because I'm, I'm going to say some stuff that's going on. You might look at me kind of, I'm going to say some crazy stuff to you when I'm in there. So, yeah. Outside the ring, I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a nice, calm, laid-back person. Inside the ring, I'm, uh, I'm probably uh, super aggressive, a little monstrous, uh, abusive verbally. Uh, <laughs> that's the best I can describe it. Well, that's what the ring is for, to, to let out that aggression. Uh, to be legally on the safe side with that type of aggression uh -huh. than being outside in the civ uh, civilian world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you get the release. You get the, um, if you got any problems, anything going on, you get the release inside that ring. So I just let it all go. How is the atmosphere here being in South Florida training in the gym versus being in Michigan area? Because uh, it's hot, honestly. Uh, the heat, we just love the heat. It's cold back home, so, you know, uh, we wouldn't be able to run outside or had a gym open like this with the doors open and stuff. So uh, it's really just being out here in the sun and the heat, grinding in the heat. Uh, I would say my jab. I got a, I got a dominating jab to be my size. You know, um, a lot of big guys focus on the jab, but I feel like I jab better than a lot of the big guys. So honestly, I, I would say that's probably my best punch. It's not my strongest punch, but I would say that's my best punch that I got. So, you know, um, Anthony has like a four inch height on you and then a five inch reach on you. Mm -hmm. Does that make any difference? Uh, no, we, we practice for that. Most of my most of my fights have been with taller guys. Most of the guys I spar be taller guys. So I'm used to it at this point in my career. It's, uh, once, you, once you find your range and you can tell where his range starts at, then you can calculate or how to move or how to get inside, how far you need to be, how close you need to be. So it's all, it's all just thinking and uh, being smart, being sharp in there. So it's not, it hasn't been much publicity on you, per se. It seems like the, the bigger media has been like overlooking you and uh, more focused on Anthony, and even Anthony himself because of what has happened this 
three laws mm -hmm. back to back. Um, what do you think about that? Do you do you want to stay under the radar, or you know, so you can grind and you show it up on fight night? I mean, I, I always been overlooked my whole career, so we we always been underdog. That's never been a problem of mine. You know, uh, we just prove people wrong all the time. So you know, I get joy out of that. I get joy out of people talking smack, saying we can't do this, we can't do that, and then we make them shut their mouth. So it's just where is where we come from. You know, we come from a hard city like that. We always underestimate it. So it's nothing new. It's just uh, this guy continue to grind. Eventually, people will wake up to see what's real. So April 1st is fast approaching. How's your mental fortitude? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to destroy. I'm ready to destroy anything I get in my way. Franklin, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. I uh, really appreciate it and wishing you all the best in the ring. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you.